Vordigan is on the throne. Now, from Vordigan's point of view, he is dominating and, and, and uh, uh, ruling the country with uh, fear and, uh, and yet also order, as he sees it. Um, he's also in the process of um, purging the country of mages and, and the old ways and harnessing power solely for himself. I feel like I've come to this fully understanding why and what Vortigan believes. You know, there's the talk throughout the early part of the film of the prophecy of the king returning and this, the, 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 the righteous king. And of course, I think Vortigan believes he's the righteous king and he thinks this whippersnapper Arthur, this, this peasant, can't possibly add or bring anything to the throne that he hasn't already uh, considered and uh, uh, answered. I enjoy going from very, very small films to big films. I mean, I think every actor does. To be on a film set in the UK with this kind of a build, with 600 people on set, with you know 100 horses, that the scale has to be embraced. Uh, 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 and you know, as just as, a, as an experience, it's always fun to be on a film set like that. It sort of harks back to the days of, you know, the the the, the, the monster movies like Cleopatra and Lawrence of Arabia and what have you. So it's exhilarating to be a part of. I think there's going to be a, a huge uh, physical and, and visual spectacle. I think they're going to have the uh, usual and very enjoyable signature of Guy Ritchie over it, which is a sort of humour and uh, a banter and um, swagger. And, you know, John Matheson is a phenomenal director of photography and I think visually it's going to be a total feast. He's a great actor and he's, he's someone who comes with his head screwed on who has a great work ethic, you know, he's collaborative and open to ideas and not scared. And, you know, what's nice is he and Guy have come up with leads in and, and, and heroic leads at that can be notoriously tricky territory because you don't want to be so good that you're a goody two-shoes and you don't want to be bad so that everyone says, well, why is he the good guy, you know? And what I think they've come up with is a very plausible, very attractive, um, cocky but you know insecure uh, every man who has greatness thrust upon him and has to sort of discover his own um, abilities through the journey of the film. So what did you think of that video? Now stay with me as I have some interesting making of facts for you. Jurassic Park had 14 minutes of dinosaur footage and out of these only four minutes were rendered with computer graphics. The rest were shot using animatronic models, including a 20-foot T-Rex that weighed more than 13,000 pounds. Are you a fan of the Jurassic Park franchise? Subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to always be up to date with all the latest releases.